Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomont. And before I jump in on this one, I want to say thank you all so, so much. We crossed 3,000 subscribers yesterday or overnight. So I want to say thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. We are busted through 3,000 on to 4,000. Help us get there. We are August 21st, 2024. Let's make that happen. Let's let's put a deadline. How about September? Give us three weeks. Let's make it happen by September 10th. Get us to 4,000 subscribers. Or maybe I can pop up some content that goes crazy and we do it faster. But again, thank you. Thank you so much. I want to jump on in on a commentary that I have. It's not so much a rant, but actually an acknowledgement. And a, a, and um, I forgot to actually add the ticker. My bad. Here's my ticker. Now you know what we're talking about. Deion Sanders. As good as I can give it is as good as I can actually acknowledge it as well. Deion Sanders had a run-in with the media last week with um, CBS, where he kind of embarrassed a reporter, in my opinion. Um, and then also had the situation with the other reporter from the Denver Post, who clearly there's still a problem there. But in reference to CBS, Deion Sanders has has squashed the beef with CBS. How it came to pass, I don't know. Did CBS call him? Did they apologize to him? Did they have a heart to heart? I know what I heard on C the Stephen A. Smith show where he mentioned that there had been some article or some, you know, there was an article that was going to be written or something like that, that a black reporter was on with Dion. And then at the last second, they switched it to a white reporter. Now, I don't know how much of that is true. I just know what was said by Stephen A. Smith. I don't think that's reason to have a beef with CBS, but I get it. That said, what happened in that press conference, I thought was totally uncalled for and embarrassing for the reporter from CBS, Denver. Well, that's all been squashed. Take a look. Here from CBS. No, sir. Who, who, who's here from CBS? Uh, Romeo. God sorry. bless you. Tell him, tell him he know, he know. I know. Yeah, but I want everybody to know we're good. We was good then, but they seem like we weren't good. We're good. I love him and I appreciate him. Tell him I do a sit down one-on-one -on -one with him. We're good. We're good now. And yeah, we've been good, but we're really good now. Coach, yeah. Now, here's the first thing I want to note about that press conference. One, Deion Sanders is not wearing sunglasses. I don't think people truly understand <clears throat> how – important that is it's a respect factor it's a respect factor that's no different than eating eating at someone's dinner table with a hat on anyone who's grown up old school knows that you don't wear a hat at the dinner table right anyone there's there's basic etiquette in certain things so the fact that he is not wearing sunglasses i'm like thank you lord i i appreciate that because you see his eyes you know, when someone's wearing sunglasses, like as thick as the ones that the ones, those blender ones, because I actually have a pair of the Dion. By the way, I have a pair of those Dion sunglasses. I think they're cool. I think the gold ones are cool. I, I like the color gold. I think it's dope. But you can't see anything through those sunglasses. You don't know if people are have their eyes closed, are rolling their eyes around, doing this, whatever. You don't know what they're doing behind those sunglasses. I think giving people your eyes is the ultimate form of respect. You know, the hat thing, I don't care too much about the hat. The sunglasses really is what bugs me, what was bugging me so much, especially when you're indoors or it's not sunny. If it's a sunny day outside and you're outside doing an interview, that's different. Sunglasses are fine. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Like, I can't even walk outside without sunglasses because I have sensitive, I've had LASIK surgery and I have sensitive eyes. Um, but nonetheless, he's not wearing sunglasses, which is great because I think that shows Respect for media the same way you want the media to respect you. You should pay that same respect to the media. That said, you see what he had to say about CBS. Even offers to do a one-on-one -on -one with him. Class act, man. Class act. That's all I can say. That's a classy move. I as as a former as a former media member, current podcaster, because I did write for many many years. I appreciate that. I appreciate that because it's it's it shows a sign of growth. Now, am I a Deion Sanders fan? No, I'm still not a Deion Sanders fan. <laughs> but that was a nice thing to see. That was a nice thing to see. And I'm gonna acknowledge it. Like, you know, he 
He made a statement there. He acknowledged the guy. He's the guy wasn't there, the one that it happened to. He wasn't there, but you're gonna give him a one-on-one interview. That's big for that guy, for that reporter, um, being in Denver. So that I want to say class act. You're not wearing sunglasses, and you look at Dion's face. He looks happy in that in that press conference. He actually looks happy. He looks like he's he's filled with energy. Whereas that last press conference that we saw when all this crap happened, he looked miserable. He looked you just combative. This press conference, I watched the whole thing. Jovial mood, relaxed, smiling, happy. That one a few weeks back was not a happy interview. That was not a happy press conference. But kudos to you, Deion Sanders. I do have the ability to acknowledge when I see things that are done, in my opinion, as the right way. And that was the right way. I don't know what CBS did. If they called and apologized, I don't even care. End of the day, it's squashed. He paid mad respect. He acknowledged it. He offered this, he's offered this man a one-on-one, which is huge, like I said. Kudos to you, Deion Sanders. Let me know what your thoughts in the comment and th- your thoughts and comments are on this one, because I think this is a big step for Deion Sanders. It does show growth. It's a growth thing it, it, for anybody, man. And you obviously hope that it continues to be in that way. It, you don't expect anyone to be perfect. You don't expect anyone to be perfect. But media and pro- professional sports have to work. They they work together, because at the end of the day, I call the professional sports. It might as well be professional sports because college what college sports has become. But if they don't work this side, the sport does not have the money without this side, the media. Together, these guys in the sport, they get rich. They do. They make a lot of money off of it. Media, not so much. Some media, yes. Some other media, no. End of the day, it's a great thing that we saw happen. I'm glad he acknowledged it publicly. So kudos to you, Deion Sanders. Leave a comment, folks. Like, subscribe, and follow, and hit that bell. And again, thank you for getting us over 3,000 3, subscribers. God bless. Come on now.